Hey guys, welcome back to the EAFC Road to Glory for Crystal Palace. We have four games today. So Sheffield United, Arsenal, who are battling us for the Premier League title, Manchester City, and then our first match against Juventus in the Champions League knockout rounds. Let's go, you Eagles. As you guys already know, I'm always looking for the next best thing. So we already found the next Wilfred Zaha from Ivory Coast, Andri, who's coming along nicely. Um, from Brazil, we've got a couple of strikers and a winger that's coming through who could be likened to Adriano, maybe R9. And the winger, I'm not 100% sure who we can liken him to. And now we're looking for the next Maldini or Nesta from Italy. We managed to renew Ahamada's contract. If you remember correctly from the start of the season, he wanted to, we wanted to move him on. But he wanted to fight for his place you know he's impressed this season as a backup player um, so i'm happy to extend him his stats are decent he's young only 22 years of age he's versatile can play in the middle of the midfields as well as on the wings and he's still improving guys look at his attacking work rate defensive work rate is all pretty solid so i see no real reason to move him on at this stage um, he provides good depth um, for our current squad um, and yeah let's just see how he develops and how far we can take him and that takes us into our first game against Sheffield United um, the boys are a bit off the pace because they were rested for the last two games in our cup matches but um, strong side they've prepared well and we are going for the three points let's go you Eagles Well, they win the throw following that challenge. No possibilities inside the box. Can he get them in front? In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. 1-0 then. Good-looking ball. Very quick thinking there. A real opening now. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it. Past. And Palace could get in behind the defence. Firing it towards goal! Ezzy. Making progress. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity! And they remain level. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Oh, fancy footwork. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. More because the transfer has gone through. Well, the figure being reported is about 30 million pounds, which in my view is value for money. We know he... Opportunity here. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. He should. Well, Sheffield United have seen more of the ball in the last 15 minutes. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'd be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third now. Oh, Stuart, they must score! And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! And Edouard with it. He'll have a go here. Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. Schlup. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And saved by the keeper. Jefferson Lerma. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. 
It's Sheffield oh, United. There's a chance here. Oh, a tremendous block. And the danger cleared. Fleck. And can they exploit the space out wide? Well, you can see how fiercely they're concentrated. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left. Are getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. But quick thinking defensively. A chance maybe from the wide position. Is this the moment? In it goes! To increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? And that brings this game to an end. A day of frustration for Crystal Palace, all things considered. Three points dropped. <sighs> How disappointing. I mean, it just felt like one of those games. At the very start of the game, we missed crucial opportunities to take the lead and equalise. Eze missed a few, Olise missed some, and Edouard didn't hit the ball with enough conviction. I want to say we deserve to lose that game, but I say we deserve probably a draw. But this is the Premier League and you have to take your chances. Disappointed with the result, but we move on to the next one. Um, we're still well ahead of targets. Speaking of the next one, Arsenal. Now this is the team that's pushing us right to the edge in this title race. Such a strong side. Erdegaard, Jesus, Partey, Rice, um, Martinelli and Saka leading the goal scoring charts. But I think we can get the right result. They've been scoring freely all season, but they face the best defence in the league. Who will come out on top? Welcome to Salah's Club. Will you please welcome our visitors, Arsenal? It's Crystal Palace. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. He's in his man. Well, that's really strong. Can he make it count? And what a magical save it was. No, oh, did well to skip through. Can he do it? He can't hold on to it. And a goal. Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Goal from this free kick. Oh, really hit with venom and off the woodwork. Well, that's a great shot. He just hit it with such power. I'm not sure the keeper would have got that, you know. How can he take them on and beat them? Real chance. And a goal. They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Black and meet the rest of the party at the ticket office. Well, they keep the ball moving. It's still alive. And problem. And he has options available. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again. And credit to the... Who can he pick out? Well, there's defensive solidity for you. Now, options are plenty. Gabriel Jesus. Chance here. Oh, a goal! Level now. The lead has evaporated. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with some. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here.
Martin Erdegaard. Will he find the net? It's in! And this really takes your breath away! A comeback and a half! Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. Alexander Zinchenko. Really effective shielding under pressure. Oh, he's through here! Well, that was an opportunity to make the scoreboard look even better from their point of view. Oh, big chance missed that. This game is still very much in the balance. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Arsenal facing West Ham what United. What a chance this is, Derek. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. And they're making a change. Underway once more, level at 3-3. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Havertz. Now Zinchenko. And promising stuff from Arsenal. But the danger averted for now. Well, I have to say, these fans are doing everything to drive their team forward here. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Party. Well, great read there to intercept. And Palace finding space on the flank. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. The clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Seem to be under any real pressure, but he's conceded the corner. And played short. Fruitful looking attack. He's blocked it! And that will be all for this game. It goes into the history books as a victory for Crystal Palace. Whew, what a performance. This guy, Berardi, at the start of the game, I was thinking, is he good enough to bench Saka? But he has literally added another dimension to this Arsenal side. He is so clinical. That's the first time I've come up against him. Um, I thought we were going to lose this game. I thought the guys were going to um, throw it away after they came from behind but we showed great character great guts great perseverance to push through and to get the three points um, really loved the way that they saw out the game towards the end as well wasting time making the right decisions showing a mature head um, leads the way because last season we bottled the league <laughs> we bottled even i think the top three positions so it's nice to see that the lads have learned from last season and they're looking to make things right this year. Next up, Manchester City. And you know, the only change I really made was to bring Cruz into the bench as in place for Ayu. Um, his stats are similar. They're both overall rating is 70. And it looks like Cruz, because he's still developing, he probably has a higher ceiling, right? Um, you tell me what you think in the stats, but I'm thinking of giving Cruz much more games um, as we round off this season. Let's go. 
All eyes on one man. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. It's Manchester City. They take on Crystal Palace live. Mark Guehi. Chris Richards. Well, good run and good ball control. Can he get them in front? score from there that's a wasted opportunity he should beat the keeper from that sort of distance and the danger is still there and problem solved for now he's in behind and it's gone in the team's separated by two goals now you cannot say they don't deserve it Rodri on to Holland. No chance, perhaps. Well, he hit it with authority. Close. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Guehi. Chris Richards. And intercepts again. He's in with a chance. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Yes, this has been going on for some time now, so no great surprise, really. Hopefully, we'll know more in the next few days. Holland. The fans are shouting, shoot. Corner for Manchester City. Phil Foden. Shaping to shoot. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And still dangerous. No defensive resilience there. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. Delighted that you're with us. And hope very much you'll join us for this match coming up. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always... Oh, they could put it away, Stuart. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. decided that the time is right to make a triple substitution and this is turning into something of a rout 4-0 fine tackle there to prevent the chance well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? It might be. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Grealish. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Giving them a different option by moving in field. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Oh, 
who's going to get on the end of it no nonsense piece of defending Rabio. and now Rodri Holland. great defending here a goal here giving his team precisely what they were looking for now he deserves to celebrate it Cutting the ball back. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. And there goes the final whistle. The big story here, maximum points for Palace. What did you make of it? Well, we talked before the game about their poor defending, but today it was all about their attacking play. They really did show a lot of quality in possession, particularly in the wide areas. What a performance. And like the commentator said, our attacking play was to die for. <laughs> I can't really speak too tough about our defending because, as you guys know, I struggle with the, with the defending in this game. I might need to reinvest in the back line. But for what it's worth, when it comes to attacking, we're always on a score. And well done, Cruz, coming off the bench. Nice finish at the end. And he's just justifying maybe that selection for him to be slightly ahead of Jordan Ayew. Great performance by the team. I think Man City were off their game. They had plenty of chances to score, um, but Henderson also came through clutch for the side. Whew, that's a big, big, big result. I mean, off the back of beating Arsenal to also go to the Etihad and beat Manchester City, that's no small feat. We keep pushing, guys. And we are finally here, guys. Last 16 of the Champions League. Crystal Palace's first knockout round game in the UEFA Champions League against Juventus. This is going to be a tough game. Vlahovic, Griezmann, Chiesa, they have, oh my, this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. I hope they do play with three at the back because then there'll be some space down the wings for Raksaki and Olise. But let's see how they line up. It's going to be a really tough game but We've um, prepared very well during the week. We've gone through tactics, individual tactics, and we're ready to show the world what we can do. Let's go, Eagles. A game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go toe-to-toe -to -toe and head-to-head? -to -head? This is football out of the very top drawer. It's Crystal Palace, they face Juventus, and it's live next on EA TV. For quite though, who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Vlaovic, no way through. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. 1-0 there. Ezzy. Oh, this is looking promising. Sheikh Dukure. Not showing good patience. And options in the center. Decent position. Jefferson Lerma must score. A superb save. Griezmann. Federico Chiesa. Oh, he looks threatening. Can he finish this? Oh, the kick penalty in the opinion of the referee. And this is seriously getting away from them. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the... And in it goes, as coolly as... 
Ramsey. Sheikh Dukure. Oh, could be. Oh, off the outside of the post. And it's going to be a goal kick here. And support available. Chiesa. Oh, Chiesa. And the keeper really reacted brilliant. Locatelli. A glorious chance. Well, that's how to hit them from the ball. And Edouard with it. The fans are shouting, shoot. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? Can he get one back? And a fine stop. In a decent position now. And he has options available. Could pull one back here. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly and he times it perfectly. Mark Guehi. He has teammates around him. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close. It was oh, beating his opponent with ease. And the ball sailing over everyone in the centre. Now, uh, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Oh, big opportunity! And not cleared away properly. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Griezmann. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Oh, good vision. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Played in by Griezmann. Well, mopping up defensively. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Can they take advantage of the situation? Can they forge ahead? Oh, it's astonishing! One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? That's a lovely goal. Well, he has to get his shot off. Brilliantly blocked. Counter-attacking chance. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Players back to cover. Will he find the net? Oh, that might have sealed it for them. Well, he has to make the keeper work there. That's a bad miss. <laughs> Jefferson Lerma. Attacking possibilities for Palace. Trying his luck. Not out of the woods yet. Managed to get it out of there. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Need to get back quickly here. Still looking for space. Really good build-up, but no end product. And just on the front foot. But they've got to take advantage of these opportunities. Locatelli. Might work out. Oh, the drama here! All level again! Incredible scenes! Ha! 
And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Can they grab the lead late on? You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Richards. Now making considerable progress with the ball. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Let's go! Let's go! Eagles never die. Eagles never die. Guys, that was insane. That was insane. I think Raksaki also scored maybe the goal of the season. Maybe the goal of the save even. He also scored a fantastic goal in the one of the previous rounds of the Carabao Cup. So he's he's proven to be like a star man when it comes to scoring the, those set pieces those set piece type of goals but this is a fantastic performance who would have thought Juventus coming to Selhurst Park will go two goals ahead and lose 4-3 guys that is how we do it that is how the Eagles play Eagles never die it's just the first leg so we can't get too ahead of ourselves but that was a fantastic performance the guys are pumped you know, we've took everything that we learned from being Arsenal, beating Manchester City, and we've gone and got Juventus' scalp in this first leg of the Champions League. Man, let's go, you Eagles. Whew! Guys, I'm buzzing after that. This was a very successful episode. That was a very, that was huge. That was a, I can't even get my words out. <laughs> that was a huge three points against Arsenal as well. Because look at where we are. We're top of the league. Level on points with Arsenal. And it looks like this is going to go down right to the wire, guys. I don't know what's happening with Manchester United and Man City. Don't, don't know why they're down there. But that's not my business. That's down for EA to sort out. <laughs> we keep on going, guys. We have Aston Villa in the round five of the FA Cup man that's gonna be another hard game I feel like there are no more easy games left in this man if you remember them they knocked us out of the Carabao Cup and they are one of the most difficult teams in EAFC I don't know why but they are really tough I mean they're good in real life so it does make sense right and um, they are going to play Newcastle in the final of the Carabao Cup quick look at our objectives i think we're in a good place you know we just have to sign one youth player signed um to our defensive positions and also finish in the Euro europa league positions we're top of the league for that one and also um get to the last 16 of the fa cup so hopefully we can get the right result against aston villa to get that one sorted as well i mean for the brand exposure we've already signed two out of three south american born players so i'm not too fussed about that one and our salary growth is they always it fluctuates between three percent and let's say six percent so we're in a good place with that as well anyway guys that's it for today hope you enjoyed the episode we beat uve at selhurs park we beat manchester city and arsenal and we're level on top of the premier league as we push towards the title Let's go, you Eagles. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.